welcome back to my channel. I have for you today a build, the Secret Garden Home build, which is a house I've been working on for a few weeks now. Um, I did take a break from YouTube and media and stuff like that just for a week. I just needed to kind of catch up with everything with life and whatnot. But I'm back, <laughs> and I am really excited about this house because this house is actually for my 100 Baby Challenge uh, family, and they actually are already living in this house because I, I wanted to test everything out and you know make sure that everything went smoothly. But yeah, as we go around here, I have a pause just because I don't want anybody doing anything silly that they shouldn't be doing, you know. I if you can see actually right there I'm gonna let you know because that way I don't have to show you afterwards uh, the porch it's a wraparound porch around the whole house and in that little corner in particular is an area for the kids to you can see these three projects that they're working on you know they can play chess there to increase their mental skill and there's actually a couch to that they can sit and do their homework and whatnot. There's, there's tons of spots to do homework in this house, guys. <laughs> but yeah, if we, and, and you can just kind of like peek into the room. This house actually has three bathrooms and four regular, regular bedrooms, including Tatiana's, and one toddler bedroom. And the, and there's a hot tub as well. But yeah, there, the big secret is, you know, the secret garden part is inside guys believe it or not so we're actually gonna go inside right now now that we're back at the front of the house before we you know enter into the home and everything we got to see everything inside I want to show you a couple shots of you know, what it looks like around the porch where there's a to the left of us there's a little sitting area you know where they you know could sit down and just you know you have a cup of coffee or whatever well for the kids it'd probably be a glass of milk or something or they can do their homework there and stuff like that uh, also there's on the far left of the porch in the front is the hot tub and to the right is the little painting area or not painting area the drawing area for the kids you know to sit and, and, and work on some artwork but as we go into the house you will see there's a bunch of really big windows looking into my secret garden <laughs> which is what the reason why I, I called the house that I, what I did and there's also over to the right front of the home is the kitchen where I totally forgot to change that tile of paint on the wall but that's okay I'll, I'll fix it I'll fix it later <laughs> not a big deal uh, also if you can see there's a billion plates up top that's because I think every time one of the kids gets an age up or something uh, I think they get a plate every single time because I think she had like 52 of them or something like that which is ridiculous I think maybe it's a grade thing I don't know I have to look that up but yeah if we uh, I think swing around this way you can see the other angle of the kitchen which you know you look out over the stove into the, the front yard and then I'm just gonna actually instead of spinning around because I want to make it a bit dizzy I used the shelving unit from Cats and Dogs with the little lighthouse lamp, which I think is super cute. And I really like how the Cats and Dogs stuff goes very, really well with the new laundry day pack stuff, like the rug on the floor. I, th I just think the colors all go really nicely. And right here is the living room, where to the left is a little area, again, for homework. I mean, you can see there's homework on it, and there's a bowl in one of the books for some reason. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Also, uh, there's a couple violins if they, you know, want to work on their, uh, create. I think it's creativity out for violins for kids. And also, there's a TV in there as well for them to, you know, kind of just chill and watch some TV or whatever. And also, the I'll show you a better picture of the porch, you know, going over to the, to the left of the room, or I should say down the hall to the right is what I really meant to say. And then I will also show you the bathroom. There is one bathroom here, and there's two more as well, which we're going to see coming up. Now here we have one of the first regular type bedrooms where either a child or a teen will be sleeping. This is not Tatiana's room. I did a country, you know, like a nice warm country feel uh, with the furniture and stuff like that, and I just realized that that project is floating, but that's because I had to use the, <laughs> the, the move um, objects on 
thing. Yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, as we go out the door and we can see down the hall, next door is actually another bedroom, which this one, as you can see, is mainly for, I meant for children because I put a ton of posters and stuff and the, you know, the, the bedding, the cat bedding is, you know, I, I think more for like a child and stuff. And this is one of the fathers, I think he's just awkwardly standing there. <laughs> well, I have a pause, but I mean, yeah, he's, he's standing there. It's kind of like, what? But yeah, and there's actually a, there's two computers in this room. So, you know, they can obviously, the kids can come in here and, and work on whatever. And next door is another bathroom, which is for the toddlers. And also, yeah, there's, so there's three, I believe there's, yeah, there's three toddler potties and it's just a normal, really simple bathroom. I didn't go crazy with the decorations in this house just because, I don't know, I really was focusing a lot on the, um, the quote unquote secret garden, which you guys will see soon. All right. And the next, we're going out the door we have down the hall is the other, uh, entrance door or exit door, whatever you want to call it, uh, which goes out to the, uh, back porch or, you know, the wraparound porch, whatever, and it goes right out to the back garden where they have their millions of um, fruit, the uh, dragon fruit bushes. And now we're going to go into the next bedroom, which is another, you know, it's just, it's blue, gray, you know, a uh, unisex bedroom, I should say, because, I mean, there's, there's one of the little boys right there. He was just, I think he just woke up because I, I reset the thing or whatever but yeah so this room actually I really like this this bedroom um it's just really it's just nice and, and just simple like I said I, I really was trying to you know focus on you know being really simple and stuff because I think I think the game runs better when there's not as much stuff you know like clutter and stuff like that but I mean you know what we, we can't help it guys we really can't but next we're gonna see the uh the other bedrooms there's a toddler bedroom Tatiana's bedroom a laundry room and another bedroom Actually, there's two other bedrooms. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's, there's four four bedrooms in total. But yeah, we'll see that right now. So the next bedroom I'm going to show you is the toddler's bedroom, which is designed for at least four toddlers. I mean, you know, if we actually have all four toddlers, usually it's like three is the most, I think. But this really has, it's really just dedicated for them to sleep in. I mean, there is a tablet over there. Uh, I think there's some blocks. Yeah, there is, like, right there on the floor. I also put a radio in here, you know, so that you put the lullaby music on so they can sleep without any nightmares. And as we go out the hall, you'll see on the right is the mural that she, well, she did do one of the murals, and then she took it down, and she's starting to try and do another one, which she's just going to work on, you know, for that wall. Um, and also, you know, next door to the toddler room is Tatiana's bedroom, which is right here which is a theme of, you know, it's blue and like a nice light blue and white um, bed with, you know, it's just a blue theme because that's, that's the color that she has, um, you know, has. Like her mom, Annette, was pink and she's all blue. <laughs> but yeah, so, and if we, you know, go around here like this, you can see the paintings that her mother, Annette, had painted, which, you know, I like to keep all of those, you know, that stuff the little mementos and whatnot, you know, with, with us for every generation. Obviously we still have her ghost, which, uh, you know, she's, she's around, she's around guys, she's around. But yeah, if we go out the hall, out into the hall, I should say, there is, it's, it's just pretty much, you know, all windows and whatnot. And then also next door is the laundry room because obviously Tatiana's going to be doing a million loads of laundry, having, you know, all these kids and everything. <laughs> um, and then, there's the bathroom, which is next to the laundry room. Again, so that's the third bathroom in the house, yes. And then, last but not least, is the final bedroom, which, again, is, you know, a unisex. I mean, it's kind of girly a little bit, but, I mean, I really like it. There's, you know, one wood wall, and the there's a nice light sage green color, you know, on the other three walls. Or, I'm sorry, the other two walls, yeah, I did, I did wood wall on... on you know, either side, but, um, I don't know, I just, I thought it was really cozy and stuff, and that's, that's just how I like it, guys, I'm sorry, <laughs> but, um, you know, I mean, hey, they're, 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 if the bed's comfortable, they're gonna sleep in it, and then, <laughs> if you go down the hall, you'll see back, we're back at the front of the, the house, 
there's a, another one of those little corner seats and another computer. I think there's four computers in the house. Yeah, there's two in one bedroom, there's one in another bedroom, and then there's one in the hallway here. And a painting that Tatiana did, which I want to try and keep another one of her paintings for, you know, for the family to, to carry on, you know, with the next generation and whatnot. But now, next we're going to see the surprise, guys. So stay tuned. Now that we've made it full circle, back at the front of the house where we first saw this door which goes into the secret garden. <laughs> now I when I was you know first thinking about building them a new house for you know for the hundred baby you know family um, I really wanted to do this whole open playground type plan but inside because I always felt that it took the poor toddlers forever to get from their room to the playground and you know yeah I can increase their whole mobility and stuff but I just kind of was thinking well it'd be kind of fun just to and different to have it you know actually inside you know their their house instead of outside <laughs> I don't know I just and I think it'd be safer too if, if you think about it you know they're not gonna be going out into the world to be kind of just in inside their house you know in their own little private secret garden but yeah as we look around here there's there's a uh, cookout and there's a cute little table where the family can you know sit and eat and there's just and there's another sitting area uh you know again and there's the obviously the gravestones you know with with the for the ghosts and everything there's Annette and Sue and um you know the grandparents and then there's just a ton of stuff just just what I need for the toddlers which is for them to learn movement and communication and I think is there a radio out here? I don't know if there's a radio out here, but I know there is a radio and blocks in their room. I do know that to, you know, help them with, you know, movement for that as well. But I mean, movement with this new toy really, really works so well. I mean, it really does. That's actually why I, I put the whole, you know, time to actually make this, you know, all around here. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys liked this house. I really, again, had a ton of fun building it uh, for, you know, Tatiana and the family. And for you guys, I'm actually going to put this house up automatically, you know, after this video goes up. I am going to put it up on the gallery. I'm not going to wait. Usually I do wait, you know, after I've, I've used it and everything. But I really feel that you guys, you know, some of you usually tell me that you really like the house. You would love to use it. So I'm not going to hold on to it. I'm, I'm going to let you guys use it. <laughs> you know, I, ho I hope that that's okay with you. <laughs> but yeah, and also I am going to show you some, you know, if I haven't already, some screenshots of the layout of the house. And again, I hope if you did like it, please, please, please leave a thumbs up. I also am happy to say that I've already pre-recorded a couple parts of the 100 Baby Challenge. So stay tuned for that this week. And uh, if you don't you know, follow me on the gallery, you totally should, which it's under my hashtag, Mrs. Lapine, and, or, or not hashtag, I'm sorry, my origin ID is Mrs. Lapine, and I'll, again, I'll put all this stuff on the screen right now so you guys, you know, can know, and I'll also leave all the hashtags to find this house. If you don't want to follow me on the gallery, it's totally fine. I am going to let you go now, though, and I hope to see you in the next video, and I hope you have a fantastic day, guys. All right, guys, bye.